Hello. <clears throat> well, today I decided uh, I should uh, talk about the, a new film I've seen, um, which, uh, at least as of this moment, it is still playing in theaters <clears throat> uh, near me. Um, but uh, yeah, it's out on Blu-ray now, and um, it's a film I haven't I hadn't seen prior. Uh, it's obviously me getting it, but. You know, it's up for a, a various awards. It's won some awards. Uh, <clears throat> and uh, that film is, of course, The Holdovers. Um, it's about uh, Paul Hunnam, played by Paul Giamatti, who, uh, he's an ancient history teacher who, due to the fact that he failed a very important uh, student who was... Uh, like the son of a senator um he is stuck uh watching over any any boys from the school who uh a prep school who did not at all uh who do are who aren't able to you know go home or go somewhere for christmas break and so for like two weeks uh boys are stuck there as was with uh, Mary played by uh, Divine Joy Randolph um, and initially there are uh, five boys stuck there but one of them whose father owns a helicopter is able to get them and unfortunately um, uh, Angus played by uh, Dominic Sessa his parents aren't able to uh, get there or get him at all, or or to be, it's not they're not able to be contacted, and mainly that's because he was never supposed to be one of the holdovers, as it's called. But you know, his mother is just married, and apparently Christmas time is now the time to have their honeymoon because apparently throughout all the school year at that point there was absolutely no way they could uh, <clears throat> have their honeymoon because something apparently always came up and um, so there's some because of how Paul Hunnam is he, he's not very well liked um, Mary her son was killed in Vietnam and, she, and he went to the school uh, <laughs> And, uh, you know, she's a head cook who has, uh, she's dealing, you know, and she, she got that job just so, you know, when her son grew up, he would have a very good education. Um, because, you know, his mother works there. So he, he would be able to have uh, the best education. And, um, this is a very, this is a very good film. Um, uh, Paul Giamatti is looked at to being uh, the best actor winner at the Academy Awards. Uh, Divine Joy Randolph seems to be looked at for being best supporting actress. Um, though for Paul Giamatti, at the, um, you know, uh, seems to be between him and Killian Murphy. My opinion, I would, I, I like to see Killian Murphy win. Uh, not that Paul Giamatti is bad at all, but, uh, you know, he's played characters that are sort of similar to this one. You know, uh, Alexander Payne, who directed this, also directed him in Sideways. So, you know, those characters have similarities. Um, I mean, there are, you, you could absolutely tell the difference between those two characters. Um, you know, but... Overall, you know, I guess personality-wise, they're fairly similar. And and Paul Giamatti seems to play these those kind of characters who are, you know, they're very might be very you know very smart, but they're also what flat-out jerks. And that's something that he has. Those are characters he's played quite well. Obviously, there are instances where he has not played characters like that, like in Cinderella Man, which got him his first Academy Award nomination, 
as well as John Adams, the miniseries. Um, so there are times where he isn't playing the same sort of character, just sort of, you know, in a different environment. And so, in a way, certain characteristics might be changed. But, yeah. I mean, if Paul Giamatti does win Best Actor, it would not be the worst thing ever, honestly. Um, I could absolutely think of worse wins <laughs> at the Academy Awards in the past that you're just like, what, how, what, no, what? Uh, he win, she win. What, why did that movie win? You know, um, this is a very good film, and honestly, this was a film that I have wanted to watch for some time. It intrigued me when I first saw the trailer. It was like, uh, oh, looks like it could be a very good film. And um, yeah, this is just a very enjoyable movie. Um, and also, <laughs> after last week's. Uh, discussion of all quite on the western front i really needed something that's just very light overall and uh getting this film was quite good it was it, it really uh it really made me happy that uh i was able to have something lighter because i was kind of thinking i'm looking at all the stuff that i've not talked about and that i could talk about probably will at some point but this being new I felt you know I want to just talk about a new movie too and one that's light because uh, there are some new films you know that I've seen at least that you know you've uh, <clears throat> that are fairly dark but you know with something as heavy as war and all that I just like I wanted to sort of just do something just more lighthearted overall I mean, now this is a comedy drama uh i mean i i didn't laugh hard at this film there were moments where i you know i chuckled or lightly laughed um but there's enough drama in it to where to saying this is just a full-on comedy i would be you know i don't believe would be true <coughs> um or at least not completely accurate um Though I guess if perhaps your the sense of humor one has would be for this movie, you know. Uh, also the fact that uh, the guy who was supposed to be the guy to watch over all the boys who hadn't been, you know, weren't able to get home or go somewhere for Christmas, you know. You know, he's like, oh, my mother, she's sick or whatever. But I don't know if she is. You know, we don't really talk about things like that. But, you know, she probably is sick. I don't know. It's like, oh, well, there you go. Yeah. Seems like some of the staff, they're just really fantastic uh, 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 teachers and uh, faculty members. But this was a good film. Um you know, Dominic Sessa, this is his first film. Apparently he wasn't actually going to be given a an audition due to the fact that he had never done a film before or anything. And But Paul Giamatti, he uh, convinced him to do it because apparently he, uh, he only uh, has done, you know, like plays or something like that I, from what I was able to read. So because of that, he had no real resume that, Everybody could then just watch a movie or perhaps an episode of a TV show that he's done and watch his acting to then be like, all right, well, then give him an audition and then see how he is. And Paul Giamatti just thought he was great and should have a, <clears throat> you know, he should absolutely have an audition and be given a chance to uh, uh, prove that he could play the character of a... Uh, <clears throat> Angus, and uh, and he did, and I'm glad that he did because he he was very very f uh, fitting, and I was happy that he. When I read that, I'm like, I'm I'm glad that that happened. Um, I don't know who actually could play this character. Uh, I absolutely think that a brand new person had to play this character because that's the best way, honestly, to not only just give somebody like a boost in their career but just to be able to show and how like you know this you know 
an up and coming actor uh, deserves a shot. And honestly, parts like this, it should go to people who are up and coming. Um, and even, I guess, some iconic characters uh, and that we've seen in films before. Sometimes certain characters that are best suited for people who you don't know. Wolverine, for example, I think. Uh, whoever uh, replaces Hugh Jackman as Wolverine, it should be a brand new person nobody's ever heard of before. Or at least somebody who has the very little for a movie resume. Uh, I'll just say that. Like, perhaps they are known. But, you know, maybe they're known for something else and they want to get into acting. And so, they might be the best. That might be the best way for them to do so. You know, you do a big part like that to show everybody you can you know do something like that to play play a certain character and uh and the character of um, angus in this was very good you know he's like a damaged brainy troublemaker and throughout the film they uh the hunnam and angus they bond you know whereas before they weren't so eye to eye because of their personalities but you know by the end of the film uh things are really good and uh i'm not gonna say what all happens because you know you should just uh watch that yourself um i don't know where this would be streaming um this was focus features and so therefore it was distributed overall by uh universal pictures so i guess probably peacock because they that's where their streaming service seems to be <laughs> i don't know at least a lot of their TV produced stuff is there. Um, and also, uh, this they made this film look like it was made in the 70s, which of course it wasn't. Shot digitally, so they put a lot of filters over it, like some film grain and stuff like that. And then um, they made uh, the logos <coughs> look like they were from 1970, 1971, where the film takes place. Um, and so, yeah. <sighs> so the old 70s Universal logo is shown. So, you know, you've seen Jaws and American Graffiti and things like that. You know, you'll know what that logo looks like. Um, but yeah, very good film. Um, seems like there is, it's going to win an Academy Award at least for, uh, Divine Joy Randolph, possibly one for Paul Giamatti. I think the script could possibly win, though who knows. Um, yeah. Very good film. Um, if you haven't seen it, I think it would be at least good to check out. And whether you like it or not is going to be obviously up to <laughs> your own, uh, I guess, expectations and one sense of humor. But good film, in my opinion, overall. And, uh, yeah, that's really it. I hope all of you are doing well. Take care. Have a great day and a great weekend. Hope your week has been great also. So, uh, take care. Bye.